Don't Welcome to Aussie Golf Review. If you haven't uh, watched our channel before, yeah. smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. What do you do with that bell? And you can do something else so you'll receive all our current videos. Is that that bell? Oh, the bell thing. That's, that's right. down there after you subscribe. Uh, just, I should watch more stuff. You want to clap your hands? Oh, yeah. Because I'll... Beautiful. Here we are on the uh, Monday tee off, mate. Monday tee off, mate. Where are yeah, we? We're down at uh, Nudgy Golf Club. Yeah, so. we just going to have a bit of a stuff around today, basically. Yep, pretty well. Um, knock around. And, and I just want to thank the lo lovely people at uh, Hay Junior. Yeah, not a bad spot there, Northgate. Down there at Northgate. So yeah. get down there if you're uh, in the area. Yeah, yep, yep. Solid. Good spot. Yeah, solid. Good very, very spot. good. Um, but just, yeah, like I said, here at Nudgy, doing absolutely bugger all. Yep. Um, you're trying to recover, aren't you? Mate? Oh, my back's a bit crook. Yeah, so that between your holes. Yeah, I know. It's, it's either that or you don't use it enough. It, 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 either way, um, I've had a crook back for a couple of weeks. And, yeah. Um, yeah, being a bit gingery, you can uh, see it on some of those shots where you, uh, Yeah, so, so so speaking about the next course vlog is, is Canungra. Can I, Canungra or Canundra? Canungra. Yeah. yeah. So um, we did do uh, Tambourine Mountain, which is probably one of, if not the best, nine hole tracks around. Mm. Uh, we're just sort of thinking that there's actually not that many nine-hole golf courses, sort of in the Brisbane area, and and, and if yeah. there is, they're not, they're not amazing, let's say. No, 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 and 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 if you talk to so many golfers, they started on nine-hole tracks. Yeah. So start on nine holes, and they build themselves up to eighteen holes. Do you know, um, like you said, outside of Brisbane, there is a lot of really good nine-hole tracks inside yeah. of Brisbane. Not a lot. No, so you've like, got Virginia Heritage, yeah, which may be close to the pick of the bunch. Just, a, just about like you've got North Pine, which is the old one mile. Yep. Which is pretty solid. I haven't been there for many years, but it's yeah. it was at least in pretty decent nick yep. many years ago. Yep. And it was actually not too bad. Um, mm, mm, Sandgate. Sandgate, and it can go through tough times. Yeah, 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 because it's it's quite salty as well. There's yeah. a lot of salinity there as well, yeah. so that's where a lot of the grass breaks out a bit. Yeah. Um, you've got Albany Links, but it's potentially not going to be there anymore. Yeah, and Corinda. Yeah, Corinda Nine Hole and yeah. Oxley. Yeah. I think Oxley's got a Nine Hole golf complex. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So not not a lot around, considering the size of Brisbane. That's right. But you go to yeah. Noosa. Noosa Par Three is very good. Yep. Uh, down south, I don't even know what's down, down Gold Coast way. Oh, I'd have to have a think and have a think. Yeah, yeah, but again, it's, I think because Golf Central is looking at doing something potentially, and they have been for years, and so yeah. whether it happens or not is a different story, but a, not a decent nine hole track, oh, KDV. KDV's got their nine hole pitch and putt, it's not really, yeah. you know, it's more of just a par three course, but a, a decent, with a couple of long par fours or one or two long par fours, yep. that'd be a nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but there was one at Albany Creek. Yep. It used to be one at Albany Creek near Ask the uh, Homemaker Centre there. Castle sorry. Yeah, at the Homemaker Centre there, it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I never got to play it. Do you know, for some older people, for some newer people playing golf, um, it was fantastic. The fairways there had definitely the best grass in Brisbane. Yeah. It, it was. It was um, very, very good. Had driving range with it, so you go and hit a few balls, go and play this course. It wouldn't take you very long, but it was always in. Yeah, so awesome. Awesome. But I, I think Rural Queensland's looking at doing uh, nine was, holes. There was. I actually it, just spoke to somebody the other day who said it's probably going to go ahead. Yes, because they're going to have the main 18 holes, yep. and they have basically a nine hole public course. Correct. Yeah, so Correct. they've been talking about that for a while because there's some land down around there. Yeah, so that'll so, be interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, do, I just think yep. a nine-hole track, a good nine-hole track, is is needed. Yep, yep. So the only other one is um, Balimba. So oh, oh, that's I true. Balimba. That. But it's a, it's basically a pitch and putt as well. Correct. Yeah, it's so, pretty much just a par three. So I think there's no holes over 95 meters or something. So that's right. And and that's yeah. why Tambourine Mountain is very impressive. Like condition of Tambourine Mountain that we just had on vlog wise. Yep. Was brilliant. Oh. Uh, condition of the greens amazing. The whole elevation change. It's a brilliant nine hole golf course it's it's a it's a great spot well, it's probably got to be one yeah. of the best in queensland at least yeah 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 it yep. has to be I, I think andrew or somebody said it's in the top 25 in australia yeah it's it's um and i can see why 
Oh, it's solid. It, it's brilliant. So, yep. um, yeah, it, 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 was, it was great fun. I mean, Kieran and I played really well in comparison yeah. to you blokes. So that was, yeah, we struggled a bit. Well, it was a bit of a, it was a strange vlog. Like it was something was going on. I'll put it down to those towers, mate. The towers and the altitude yeah. sickness. It could, yeah, it was something going on. <laughs> I don't know. There was some sickness happening. I never recovered from when I nearly got killed. Oh, Jimmy, the, Jimmy the murderer. <laughs> He's just flinging stuff over his head. <laughs> but he reckons him laugh and his forearms become a bit weak. I reckon his forearms are weak for something from something else. Yeah, I think that is. Just say comment down below what you reckon that is, but uh, maybe we'll get kicked off YouTube for that. So, yeah. so don't. Um, but yeah, Tambourine Mountain, so part of the Scenic Rim Golf Council, or yep. part of the five golf courses there, which is Tambourine Mountain, Canungra, Coralban, Bow Desert, and Boona. Boona's another really good nine holes. Oh. I always said to retire onto a golf course, an era golf course, I reckon Boona. Boona's pretty and, a tough one to and go because, past. And because it's so nice and flat, it's such an easy walk. Yeah. Um, you know, it's got a little bit It's just that back corner, isn't it? It's like the fifth or sixth hole yeah, up but in you, the back corner. Yeah, you get away with that, don't you? Like, well, it's just one. I, I just look at it and go, and it's not the sort of course where you go and, and you know, lose three boxes of balls. No, you can so, hear it in the paddocks and you're probably going to be able to jump yeah, the fence and pick it up. Yeah, so I just think that that's a very good solid course. Yeah. Like, it's certainly the, the sort of course you could retire on to, where you could still go and walk, you know, nine holes, easy as. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yep. Very, very good spot. Um, so also stay tuned, we've got the Callaway uh, giveaway. Yep. Balls. Who wins? And there was actually quite a lot of people. So there was like 13 people that, yeah. that guessed where it was, which was actually one golf ball. Yep. But, um, so yeah, now that we've mentioned it, there's, there can't be any more guessing. Yep. Um, but yeah, so there's only one, there was one golf ball in there. There was yeah. 13 people. So I think we're going to do uh, uh, one, two, and three. So let's so say the first gets half a dozen golf balls plus a head cover. Second, we'll get three golf balls and a ball marker. And I think third can get the same. Um, and maybe we'll throw in, and then maybe for the next couple, if because often people don't contact us when they win. So that's so true. and so if you're not watching it, that that's fair enough. But for the rest of you guys that don't win, contact us. We'll send you some Aussie golf review head covers, putter covers. Let us know if you've got a blade putter, and we'll send you a head cover and colours. So black or white yep. head cover for driver or uh, or putter. But anyway, yep. we'll, we'll we'll sort that out. But um, but yeah, check that out. But we're going to sort of jump straight into Canungra. Yep. So starting from Tuesday. Yeah. So tomorrow. Yep. And we've got a couple of courses after that. And then we've got a couple of courses with a with a friend of ours from the UK. Yep. So we've got Brookwater after that and Redcliffe after that. Yep. So um, yes, it's a friend from the UK. No, it's not Rick Shields. It's not. Cro Could it be Crossfield? It's Robin. It's Robin Matthew Williams. <laughs> if he ever comes out here, mate, that's just us. That's you. Oh, I have been watching a bit of his stuff. He's good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. He gives you blokes a bagging. Oh, he doesn't give. He, he, he doesn't. PGA. He doesn't give you a bagging. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 no. So it, interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah look, I, I tend to agree with him with a bit of stuff on the PGA side of things, but uh, and I do agree with him carrying on about golf is pretty simple and simplifying the grip and simplifying stance and whatever else and posture. Unlike, get your S curve doing this and your C curve doing this. It's like, yeah, it's a bit too much. Like at the end of the day, set up like this and hit the bloody thing. That's one thing I agree with him about. I, I think so. You, you're right. It's it can be very difficult. Paralysis by analysis. Oh, I went to uh, Paris yesterday. Did you see that? Nice. Nice. How is that? Paris. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's just come back from Paris. No, no, no. So, like I said, 13 people uh, there um, who got that, which is great, but stay tuned for that. Questions, Richo? Beautiful. Love, que love, love good questions. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a bloody grasshopper. <laughs> they don't eat much. No, they don't. Um, the quarter family. Maybe I'm. Oh, look, while he's looking for that, look, my good friend, uh, Sha, he's on his way to. Uh, See, it's show, but it's not show. It's show. Sha. So he's on his way to Japan. Yes. He's going over there, catch up with some family. He's going to play a bit of golf. G'day, mate. Have a great time. Um, 
hopefully next time I can go with you. Well, we were talking about it. We, we want to do a lot of things, oh, don't we? Oh, gee, I'd love to go to Japan. I don't know if Japan's ready for me, but <laughs> I would All love right. to go. Oh, how's the Gemini? Jeez. The old Gemini, mate. Um, Jesus, photos. Where are all these questions? There we go. In five bomb this morning, David Lee. Yeah, David. Yeah, David's always asking questions. Guys, ask questions. Yep. The more questions we have. I actually was thinking on the, on the drive-in, <clears throat> I think we need to do a live golf club review. So we, when we're at Golf Central next, yep. whatever it is, whatever the club is, let's do a live one. Because it, because it will be exactly the same as what it is on camera. Because as soon as that button's pressed, there's no editing. It's just put together. All we do is yeah, slot in some numbers. Or put in the like numbers and well. then and then put in the uh, yep. close-ups and stuff. That's 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 all the editing that's done in those things. So yep, love it. Um, also, last Monday show we asked uh, people to tell us about their clubs. Yep, and people did, which is great. And it's great to see all different numbers. So there was lots sub thousand dollar full sets, yeah. and there was some three and a half grand full sets. Yep. And at the end of the day, you can get away with it as pricey or as cheap as as you want. I I agree. Um, look, we talked a lot about um, club manufacturers and everything else, and you know people just have to remember they're a business. One hundred percent, they are. They're, they're, they're there to make money. Because not... somebody said they're not trying, yeah, trying to grow the game. So so a lot of people like. I was reading, it was on Rick's channel actually, yeah, because he done that $70. I can't believe, anyway, I'm going to have a friggin' rant. I can't believe people about how idiotic they are. So Rick's gone, here's a cheap set of golf clubs, you can get away, you can go play. Right? Yep, that's all it was about. And, and, that's, and that's all it was, okay? And then they were going, did you see the price of it? It was 50% off, whatever. It's actually not a 70 pound, it was a 90 pound set or... Like, that's not the whole no. point. The, 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 the point, point was, was it was a cheap set of golf clubs yes. that you can go out and play golf with. Yes, and it wasn't about the numbers. But yeah, people else. carried on about the numbers. You know, no different if you go and buy a cheap set of junior clubs. It's to get them out playing. It's it's not about going and, you know, going, oh, well. Like necessarily being a world beater right down there. Else. No, no, no. And that's, that's what it was about. It's about encouraging some people just to go out and yeah. just play. play but, golf. Like I said, I think... You're right. Well, we, Gol we did a video and, years ago. Like, golfers and golf players promote the game, mm -hmm. right? They promote the game, right? Golf companies. The manufacturers. So it, doesn't, the, yeah. it doesn't matter, and I'm not trying to have a go at no. any of these these places, but equipment companies, ball companies, clothes companies, hats, shoes, whatever, they're a business. Yes. And I think people forget that they're about if, making If they money. don't sell stuff. Yeah. You, they don't stay around. No, if I make a putter company and make putters, I want to sell putters. Yeah. And will we stretch the truth of how those putters perform? Well, if that sells more putters, they will. They so will do big. studies. I mean, you can't lie about it. But yes, they will do studies, and then they will do whatever they do to make it seem like it's much better than what it actually is. Mate. Anyone hashtag two six two. Anyone that sees People any form of advertisement. Hashtag two six two. Right. You got to remember that. There's a certain amount of crap. It's called marketing. Right. Of course it is. Mate, Coke adds life. Oh. Not to the people that I go to. <laughs> Richo loves it. Right. I go to people, they are depressed and sitting around drinking Coke. So just Coke. because you buy a bottle of Coke is not going to make you feel top of the world. Whatever problems you've got are still going to be there. And a bit the same thing. Yeah. They'll come out and go, this driver will do blah, 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 whatever else, right? And... Ultimately, in the end, you know, it's still your swing and everything else. And, and that's what the RNA uh, have made it. So no matter what they do in regards to uh, yep. MOI and stuff like that, there's a reason there's a cap because after that limit, it actually helps you out a lot more than yeah. what it is. So, so these ones help you out, of course, and there's more forgiving yep. ones but, now. But, but you know what? They're, like I said, they're there to make money. Of course oh, they are. I'm not trying to not saying whether that's right or wrong or whatever, but they're a, they're a business. They have investors, they're different, a car company, phone company, whatever else. They are not there phone company, to... Yep, 100%. They're not there to, to... This does exactly the same as my previous one. ...make the game better. <laughs> they don't give a rat's ass. No, you're right, they don't give a rat's ass. No, no, of course they don't, mate. They, they don't. don't. But we done a video years ago of a premium driver, and it was pretty average video because a few things died, like I think Flightscope died at the time. 
and whatever else. Anyway, it was a premium driver versus a cheap driver. And the cheap driver is like a $50 driver. And I want to do it again, and I want to do it a little bit better, but I also then want to do one where we change the shaft into a more premium shaft that suits a bit more that isn't just a whippy noodle. Yeah. And see how the difference from the numbers. And I'm telling you, that cheaper driver is still going to underperform in comparison to the bigger name brand yeah, but I suppose it's, it's, it's where you're looking at it underperforming, and that's what we talked about. Like, yeah, well, underperforming you know, from a distance and a feel the, and a forgiveness. The, the difference between me picking up one shot around is the difference between maybe winning something at your club or maybe not. As we're pro golfers, they pick up one shot around, that's four shots. Yeah, that could be yeah. definitely the that's difference. That's the difference between us two shots and making the cut or not. That could yeah, be yeah. worth tens of thousands of dollars, yeah. you know, or yeah. making the cut or winning a tournament. But look at the rest of us, it's not really going to make much difference. Mate, if I went out and bought a set of irons and gained one metre for every iron, and unless, unless those irons are hitting straighter, yeah. well, make one metre. it's going to be bugger all. A couple of metres on it difference. So David, go. So, David, yeah, yes. There you go, mate. Who, mate, I know. The poor bugger, he's sitting there waiting, going. I know. They're going to ask me questions, ask me questions, and now they've been Oh, on. sorry, I only bought one battery. We're nearly dead. We've, we've got to finish up. So, guys, next, uh, coming next year, tomorrow, we've got uh, Conundra. No, yep. <laughs> but I, look, uh, I will tell you something. Look, everyone went off about price of golf clubs and everything yes. else, right? As a consumer, right, just like when we vote on politics, we have the right to vote for whoever we want. 100%. You have the right to buy to what you buy wish. Or not. If you're not happy with a company, for whatever reason, so you know, there's no point getting on going, ah, oh, they put out stuff too too much, yeah, too blah, 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 whatever. Do you want, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Because there's plenty of golf companies around, and if you're not happy with one, don't buy it again. It's it, the Wilson staff thing, mate. Like, the, that D7, to me, the best, cheapest driver yep, on the market, yep, yep. performs as well as anything else out there, yep. and it is pretty much half the price of others. And do you know what? Think things will go around. So if everyone stopped buying yes. TaylorMade and Callaway, right? Peng and Titleist will become the biggest golf club companies because people will still buy stuff, right? Well, you, it as long it doesn't as golf matter. exists. But if you don't like those companies, all means don't buy them. Correct. They're gear. Correct, David. We'll get to it. I yep. can see I can see Richie on the baggy green era. You could too. Um, hashtag all you need is love. Thank you very much because that was the last hashtag, which was in brilliant. The, in the invincibles. Yeah, mate, you, no, you'd be coughing bounces Me, everywhere, mate. Stan you McCabe, you, you the couldn't Don. handle it, mate. You'd be caring. <laughs> Me, the Don. The Don, you are the Don. Oh, I could see um, Ponsford and Woodford opening the batting. The Don at, Don at three, me at, me at four. Oh, of course you could. <laughs> of course you And Keith good. Miller, because I love Keith Miller. You Keith, do like Oh, Keith mate, Keith Miller is. What a great all-rounder. Flew planes during the during the war, came back, played cricket. What a, what no, a we, nobody knows what he's even talking about. Keith Miller. Everyone knows who Keith Everyone Miller knows is. Everyone knows who Keith is. Uh, David tends to buy two-year-old golf clubs. He spent around a thousand pounds in his current set of bats. Prices are getting mental for the later sets. After all, it's uh, the same idiots holding them. Yeah, and that's that's true. Like, yeah, I don't think that's what it's we're just, just saying. It still comes down to the person yeah. on the end of the stick. Um, is that sludgy? I reckon that's Pete. I might have to go I'll say hi to Pete. Um, it's... Question. Coloured golf balls, yes or no? I don't see why not. I, I mean, I, I, I just yeah. don't I use, use them. them. I use them for a little while. Um, I think on certain courses, they're, they're good. Um, certain courses, you can lose them a little bit. So it does depend. Um, it depends on what ones, you can see. The yellow ones seem to be pretty good. I did try a few of the other ones. Blue. Yeah, the, the pink was not too Blue bad. Blue balls? Yep. Um, the orange one, I think, that comes from Bulbic stands out. Yeah, Bridgestone do an much. orange one as well. Yep, yep, yep. So, and Titleist are going into the Pro Vs with yellow so, ones. I, I think so. Look, I think if it can help you, um, you know, it all, it all depends on your eyes and how they, they look to your eyes. Yeah, comment down below on if, if you use a coloured ball and what colour, if, if you do use a different colour. I don't colour. see... No. no, I don't think, I think no, it's a good no. idea and I think that's why some like Volvic and, have, have and if, sort of and if you look, at, you look at kids they love it what ball do you want to use oh, oh, oh they don't want got the, the orange they one. don't want the white one no the, every other colour if it encourages them flag to in or on. flag out there's been a lot of stuff going on about you know which is better I think at the end of the day if, if you're hitting one pretty firm and it's hitting the middle of the stump chances are it's probably going to and go in 
But if you hit a little bit off middle and it's a bit firm, it's probably not going to go in. No. But I think as you hit it too hard anyway, even if the flag's out, I think flag you know, out I if it's firm. I don't mind leaving it in when I've got that really long putt or that putt that comes up and you can't see the hole, right? <laughs> so at least it's giving you... Like, so that's what I reckon. When you go I just up personally the think long cut, putts, yeah. yeah. Long putts keep it in. Yeah, long putts I reckon keep it in. Short putts. But saying that, Canungri, we, we left it in pretty much the whole t- the whole day. Well, mainly because we are chipping for booties. All yeah. Day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then well, if you, <laughs> you chip it up near the hole and, well, it's that given. was it. Yeah. It's given. Yeah, yeah so. Because you're so good. It wasn't many putts. Driving or putting, which one would you prefer to be very good at? I used to be a very good driver, so I'd love to be a good putter. Jesus. Jesus. How was that? And the blaster. This, and this message will self-destruct in three seconds. The blaster. Oh, do you know what? Both are so important. It's very hard. When I first started playing golf, I was, I was very ordering putter, and I worked really, really hard on it. Um, I watched Ben Crenshaw's The Art of Putting over and over on video. Not on stupid DVD. Stupid, right? Um, so, what work, resolution work, was that? One sixty six oh, by one sixty six. Made terrible. I can't in, believe you even could watch that it, stuff. It was in beta. <laughs> beta Did you say beta mates. or beta? Beta, beta. Yeah, I think it's beta. Isn't it? B E T A. I watched it. It's not bet- beta. Between, beta. I think it's beta. In between Back to the Future. But, <laughs> no. Did you um, ever actually ever ever have a micro disc? Was it was it called? It was a uh, uh, but uh, there was there was a small. It was when CDs came out, wasn't it? Yeah. There was small CDs. It's oh, amazing how yeah. technology sort of come in and out, isn't it? So yeah. it was VHS or Beta, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yep. And then VHS gobbled up. Yeah, but how did it, how? Because they reckon Beta was was, was better. They reckon it was, it was a better like technology. Versus, yeah, yeah. And then there was. Uh, they had more money, and they just. Well, it's a marketing yeah, thing, wasn't yeah. it? Yep. And then I think when Blu-rays come out, there was another one uh, that at the time, and Blu-rays took over. And yeah. it must be because so I think Sony had something to do with Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's amazing how these conspiracy alert, how these yeah. bigger bigger companies start to rule. Yeah, it's not. I'd like to be good at both. Of course. I don't... To see, to me, it was always see... drive for show, putt for dough. For me, it's always drive for dough, putt for dough, because if you can't get off the tee, you're always up shit creek. Yeah, I know. It's it's it's, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Like to, to to me, hitting fairways is just as important. Maybe not quite as important. If you could make, if you could make lots of putts, if you could make. So, so when you talk about driving better, right? Now, yes, I think fifteen foot putts, fifty percent, or fifty percent of fairways. Which one would you would you like? See, this putts. is a weird one. So fifteen foot, but how often See, do you I'll... get it inside fifteen feet for birdies? Yeah. So fifty so percent from fifteen feet. Let's say uh, twelve to eighteen feet, fifty percent, which is unheard of. Yeah. See, for me, it's always like. So if I'm going to be a better driver, am I going to gain the 30 metres I need to gain? Well, I don't know if you're going to gain 30 metres. It's just no, in, so the, in the I'm rough, I'm you're going to gain be 10 or 15. Be uh, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Comment below. Because I think it's a very, very interesting concept. Because the best drivers in the world don't generally win. So if you look at sort of the stats, mm-hmm. it's... It's not always the best putters either for the guys that win the PGA Tour event. But the guys that win PGA Tour events are certainly up in the top five or ten in putting. Right? So, yes, that's the case. But if you can hit fairways, like a Dustin Johnson, if he can hit fairways, he's such a good wedge and short iron player and a solid putter, he's going to play well. Yeah. So that's where it's it, it's about your weapons. What weapons do you have? Yeah, yeah. You, you can't make... Can't make everything. Well, you, you can't make bars and birdies from the rough off the tee. So I think if you can be consistent off the tee. Correct. Correct. Uh, I'm playing. Dave, thanks for the question. As always, sir, you always great have uh, some great questions. But from me, do you know what? Dri- driving or putting? Because 
the last part of the hole is a putt. And you know what? I can hit a crappy driver off the tee, and well, no one remembers that. Well, you certainly have more just, putts than they'll woods. just they'll remember that great putt because that's the end of the hole. See, so coming back to Richo again. <laughs> uh, Widen of angles, um, good show. Cricket captain is, uh, is a good shout, especially in the Ashes. By the way, yep. Steve Richardson, Lee Trevino grew up in Texas, not Mexico. You idiot. Yeah, he did do grow up in Texas. <laughs> Hey, but yes, he was of Mexican heritage, though. So. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, and uh, we all knew what you meant. Yeah. No, <laughs> bloody, bloody hot in Texas, too. It's pretty much the same. Well, <laughs> similar thing, isn't it? Bloody hot. My question, will Phil Mickelson achieve the grand, uh, career Grand Slam? And my answer is yes, he will do it this year at Pebble what's he, Beach. What has he got left to do? The US so, Open. You reckon he'd have to win it? Well, he won, he, he won this year. He won this year for um, Pebble Beach. It seems to be a course he plays pretty well at. Oh, mate, I'm thinking badly. Are you going to put some money on badly over the next couple of weeks? He's, he's starting to creep up there. Yeah, no, he's Mate, been Barney. Great. Barney is good for a bloody first round leader as well. Mate, Barney loves a punt. Punt. Yeah. Barney does. Jesus yeah, Christ. I love, I love first round leader. Um. Yeah, yep. I, I yeah, think he Aaron will. Yeah, Bradley's playing very well. Um, like Bradley. Um, Mickelson, I, I think so. You, it, it, I'd like to see him win it because it means something to him. Oh, 100%. It's not just about you know, a career Grand Slam or anything. He wants to win his National Open. Like, it means yeah, fair, fair, something Fair call. Like if, like, but so did, you know, did the Open, though. He wanted to win the Open so bad. Yeah, but you're right. It is his home. It, it, it's his hometown I Open. I think yeah. he just feels that... Yeah, I, look, I, 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 you got to admire the ones that want to win. And you see him increase the clubhead speed by like five mile an hour. It's so like he's, harder. well, he's, he's, he, we want to. Like he's working harder at the age of what, mid 40s, 50 40s, 46 or something? He's out there getting fitter and stronger, and everyone saw the picture of his calves over the last couple of months. He's a fit dude. So, why? He's, he's working hard. Good on him. Yep. We already saw that pre-swing routine once before. That's right. Yep. So some people are a bit more advanced than others. Look at you. I look. I, I suppose he looks at it and goes, like you said, mid forties. He's probably only really got half a dozen more solid years on the PJ. Maybe not even. Yeah. Right. So I suppose he's looking at it and going, well, this is probably my last. Oh, mate, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be a force on the Champions Tour for sure. But yeah, he, he will Maybe. want to win. Yeah, yeah I think he, he will. He might give the way, though. I think he will. Thanks for the question there, Woden. Plenty, plenty of dudes. Sometimes right golf. Go check out sometimes right golf on uh, YouTube. Actually, guys down the Gold Coast. We need to get, we need to get them out, which would be very good. Hey, Alan Richo, I uh, just asked your thoughts on ditching driver and carrying a low lofted three wood. Uh, I'm struggling with accuracy with my current driver, and I've found three wood with loft decreasing, get a little bit of extra, and of course I didn't push read more, and so I can't see the rest of it, but a low lofted uh, metal, generally people hit it better, don't they? So a lot of people yeah, talk yeah. about three wood hitting much better than they do driver, and it's because driver doesn't like to be hit, on, hit down on too much, and that's what a lot of people do. Also less loft equals, um, it's gonna say, Less spin loft, but less spin loft is angle. It's angle of attack and dynamic loft. So the more the more they are together, it's angle of attack, and this is why wedge. Can't, this, is, this is why wedge can't move so far. So let's say that's. Let's say that is right there is. Eight iron. That's your angle of attack down. Calm down. <laughs> and, we just and, have and, wedge driver and loft, but that there. If that is dead straight, what's well, going straight? If that's tilted one way or one way, that's going to that's going to move less. If I was to put driver like that, then that closeness there makes it move one way more or the other. So less loft equals more left and right. Yep. So of course three wood having about five more degrees is not going to carry on as much. And generally people hit three woods more in the middle of the face for a couple of reasons that it's shorter, that it's heavier. They're not swinging as fast. So there's a couple of other things there as well. So yes, I would think for a lot of people, 
either going a very low lofted hybrid or a, a, a fairway wood, it's probably not a bad idea. Ditch driver. Might hit a straight out, might play better golf. But I think also people swing, drive it too slow. They try to steer it too much and they don't have any confidence in it, so they swing it slower and slower and slower. Steering it is, is, is right. Having That's some the, confidence. So, so the ones that I hit poorly are the ones I try to... Well, you've, 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 you've overthought it too. You, yep. Rather yeah. than just stand there and swing it up. Yeah. But, so the ones that you just pick your line, bang, hit it at it, they're the ones that you hit really well. It's the ones where you go, I need to find the fairway, I need to find the fairway, and you're trying to guide it down the fairway. So you swing it harder and trying to hit the shot that you know you can hit, that's the one, like Not in the neck or whatever. Not necessarily just swing it. Well, swing it with yeah, confidence. With confidence. It's it's just going, I'm just going to hit it at that tree, and just hit it at the tree. Not rather than going, oh, I've got to find the fairway, I've got to find the fairway, let's let's just guide it down there. And like you said, you're guiding it down there, and in the end, you you know, swing it to his life. You, Tip. Tend to, you tend to push it then, or you... Well, yeah, or, you just... Or you, or you get to here and go, Realising that you're too slow and then you pull it out. Whatever you're doing. Like, so a lot of people don't understand also slicing as well. A lot of people swing further left or path further left to get the ball to not go to the right as much. Yeah. The more you swing left, the more the ball's going to go to the right. And I know everybody talks about getting that club inside and path right, but the way people get such a high handle to get path right, so the handle's still high, then they get the path right, so it starts further right and goes further right. You're gonna have the handle so much just lower. Way left. Just well, open up your stance. And... More and more and more because subconsciously you know you're aiming so far left and there's more to it. But there's if, more if, to if it. If you want to slice one, then you know it's gonna slice. Correct, correct. You know you can do it. Very rarely you'll try to hit a big slice and hit it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Yep. Good. There. Questions. More questions would be great. Thank you. So Kanungra coming up was just us two. Yep. We played stroke. Yep. And like I said, part of the Scenic uh, Golf Council, well, Scenic Rim Golf Council, uh, the five tracks. Yep. Get out there. Very, very, there was the smallest greens I've ever played on. Solid greens, but small, small greens. I like the place. I thought it was very good. Love the feel of the place. You said um, it because it was hidden away. Yep, yep. You come in over a stream and you sit down and then it opens up, boom, into a bit. Yeah. Best entrance to the golf course I've ever. I've got a photo, I'll put it up. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice, nice. <laughs> it's a river crossing. You could have been in Kakadu. <laughs> I stopped and went. <laughs> Where are we going? This is right. Yeah, have I taken um, a wrong turn? Fantastic little entrance. Beautiful. I think that it just and and then it sort of goes in and it opens up and there's a big wooden sign that's yep. been handmade, obviously by someone. Um, I like it. It's those bits and pieces. Yeah. Where locals have come in and built chairs and furniture and you know signs for the place because they're proud of it. Of course. And, and I think that adds to that real character of it. Yes. Yeah. You know, uh, look, oh, I thought Nine, nine hole track, some long holes, uh, some par fives. Um, there were some longer holes than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Like, Same. I, I didn't realise there's a couple of really good, decent par fives. And there's some of the um, par threes. It's probably one hole in particular, which is like the sixth hole. Well, there was nothing under 90 metres, uh, nothing under 100 metres on the par threes. No, no, no. I think the they shortest were, was like 130. They were, they were all at least that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. the tiny greens, like really small greens. Yep. I think the uh, the fifth hole you, you enjoyed the most. Yes. And I think I like the yep. fifth, the sixth hole the most. Yeah, so keep an eye for that. Really, like, really great hole. There, there were some really good holes there. Beautiful. Some, some tight par fours. Like, mm, that's what I was saying. That, it looked tough. Which one was that one? So there was the one that you liked, and then Six. there was that other one that was really narrow. They're all pretty narrow. Yeah, yeah. So the, it's all tree lined, the scrub, there's the. Uh, Kuma yeah. River sits beside it. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. I, I think it's... Much greener than I expected to for being sort of droughtish. Um, very green around there. It's fantastic. Um, you know, I, the crowd were there, setting all firecrackers in the background. Yeah, near the army barracks. <laughs> so that was that was interesting. Yes. Yeah, so Richie was ducking for cover the whole day. Listen out for that. You hear a few booms at Boom. the start. That's not us. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No, 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 it was a very, very good golf course. No, no, I, I, I another one of those places. They have plenty of uh, charity golf days yep. and bits and pieces. Oh, I reckon a good spot to get out there. Get four blokes together. Just get out there. Lots of great places to eat around there. Camping ground, yeah, yeah. Stop off at the Ginger Ninja. The Ginger Ninja. Hey. Saw that. Yep, yep. On Insta. Yep, stop off on there. Um, 
but there's heaps of good places to eat around there. Get get three of your mates together. Get three Just get your, out there. Like three of your girlfriends. Get whatever. Together. Three of your wives. Whatever. Yeah. But it, it's one of those good... I reckon it's a good fun track. Like I said, it'd be very interesting to go down there and play like yes. a four ball Ambrose. So we played Stroke, so... For, for a bit of fun and, yeah. you know, you could chew off a few things. That's the thing, you can take over corners, it's short, yeah. you can take drivers a lot more. There's a lot of different ways to play the track, yep. but if you miss it, it's tight. It's tight and there's dog legs and... Yeah, I, I reckon it's a um, good spot. Solid spot. Very good spot. Solid spot. So, I need to thank Kim. Yes. Sam. Kim. And uh, Matt. And Matt. Yep. Yep. So, Beautiful. Down there. Uh, thank you very much. But it was um, oh, a good spot. Check it out. Yep. yep. All right, guys. Good what are we going to do? I want to hashtag 262 because everything's the same. What question do you want to ask the, the viewers? You got a question? 262. Yeah, yeah, because we're just talking about drivers and stuff like that. 262. Hashtag 262. They're all the same. Well, People understand what that is. You don't. Because you don't watch YouTube. Yeah, no. Well, 262. Yeah, no. Well, I showed the other day. Oh, yeah? I said, how far does everyone hit the, hit the driver? He goes, 220. <laughs> <laughs> he did say, hey. <laughs> I, go, I go, what? I go, don't they all reckon it's 300? 300. He goes, no, 220. No, 220. <laughs> That's about he, it. He said average. He, I think he's talking about carries. The average carry of a lot of blokes. No, the studies about, show that it's yeah. only about 212 metres, even less, might be even yards, 220 yards that people hit A-grade golfers around the world. Okay. Yes. I know there's a lot of people that hit it longer, but that's the study, so. But the same thing. You want to hit as many fairways as you can. It's important. And it's that same thing, like going back to you know, what Dave was talking about. So, do I want to hit 250 or 230? But 230, I will be on every fairway or the yep. edge of every fairway or 250, yeah, I might hit half of them. Yeah, it's still another, remember, it's 50, another, 50 another, is still another, a pretty good... It's, uh, it's, I know it's another 20 metres, but I like... This is where I think we spoke about it before, but... You're gonna, you're gonna have a lot better shots in. Guys on tour lot. generally hit less than 60% of fairways. Yep. But everyone's carrying on that they hit more. I mean, they probably do, but... Yep. So basically, yeah. the shorter you are, the more fairways you have to hit. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd take 230 with every fairway. There you go. Question to you guys: How many greens do you hit per round? How many fairways do you hit per round? Ask us some more questions. We're gonna go. I'll tell you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. You uh, wanna rub my back? Yeah. Thanks. Falling apart, mate. I know, mate. Hey. These two new. I wanted to test these new two unders out as well. Oh. Love a two under. We're gonna to have to do that video. Okay. Two under, love a bit of little spin golf. I know what you're and... saying about that. It'd be nice if it was black, but I like it as white. God, are you kidding me, mate? Move this way and you'll be able to see it. There you go. There you go. Look at it. There we go. Look at that. Spin golf, yep. Maybe in black, but no, no. no, no. It's beautiful. Because it's love subtle. It. It's a heather shirt, it's yep. subtle. I like it. So All let's right. say later. John Jono from Spin Golf. G'day mate. Perfect. I'd like to say, what have, who have I got? Hey Junior. Yep. No hat. Aussie golf reviewer. Boat, belt buckle. True links wear shoes. The wider nice shoes, shoes. The wider shoes I've ever put on, mate. They look like clown shoes, but they're so comfy because they've got clown feet. Oh, I, I can't <laughs> really got me. Hold the hell, give it here. <laughs> All right, let's be done with it. Oh, we're going to do some other videos and uh, yep. probably we're not going to have a hit. I might have a putt and I might go home. Cool I guys. Might, uh, young Jimmy down here. We yeah, might, you, you have a hit with Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. might have, even have a, do a little video somewhere. All right. A little chat. I'll leave the camera with you. We'll see how we go. Cheers, guys. You'll be right. I'll see you next time. Beautiful. See you. Me back sore from sitting in your car. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Beautiful. And don't forget. Smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> You're that's what weird, you say, eh? don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Eh? I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit this like. Who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you.